All right, for those of you who have a champion inverter generator, these 2,000 watts, uh, I got one here just in December for my ice shack. And if you look at it, they've really upped uh, what they were when they first came out. I think it's about 1,700 running watts. I know I've ran it a little over that with my ice shack and haven't had a problem. Uh, if you look at the plugs, they're a max of 14.2 amp now instead of the old 13.2 they had. Uh, one of the things with the ice shack is when it's 30 below, you really don't like going outside. So uh, I got the extended run tank, which has to be gravity fed. And it worked pretty well, and we were always putting it on top of the cooler, but you go out to get ice for your drink, or you got to get in the cooler, you got to mess with the freaking extended run fuel tank, move it. Inevitably, you'd get some air bubbles, and a couple hours later, you'd have to go out and uh, make sure you got the air bubbles out and get it flowing again. So uh, what I did was I just did a real rough five-minute stand to actually put on top of the Champion, and uh, it seems to be working pretty good, but uh, just kind of made a couple brackets that went right into the uh, fuel tank that came with the extended run and a little new deal up there to hold it so when it's windy in the winter it'll hold. Uh, pretty rough, rough model here. I think I'm going to have my uncle that's a welder and a fabric trader get some, some pipes and metal and weld me up a nice little light solid one. But yeah, that's kind of the extended run thing stand I made for it, so hopefully somebody can make something better or cooler.